Alrighty, and welcome back to Star Wars Reviews. Today I am going to be uh, reviewing Darth Vader 2020 Issue 6, um, which starts a new story arc called Into the Fire. So this is uh, Into the Fire Part 1. So yeah, um, and the issue was once again written by Greg Pack with art by Raphael Inco. And it was released on October 14th, 2020. So yeah, it was just a, another great issue. Um, the series, except for, you know, just didn't really fully know if I really wanted another Vader new comic series. Um, mainly, you know, for like, you know, one just really don't want Vader, any more Vader series, you know, stories. Um, and, you know, just didn't really know if it could live up to the uh, last two ongoing series. And boy, was I wrong. It's definitely living up to those series, and it's been, you know, a great series so far. Um, this issue is probably, probably my favorite of the series, um, so far, obviously there's more issues coming, but, um, you know, in this issue, uh, Vader finally reports back to Palpatine, you know, after his encounter with, um, Luke on, Cal on Cloud City, and then afterwards working with Sabe, and Learn more about Padme and Luke and whatnot. Um, and so you know, first back to Palpatine. Because that Palpatine punishes him, you know, for his failure with Luke and then working with Sabe and whatnot. Um, and you know, that's pretty much the issue. He just tortures him, you know, by either using. The force lightning, um, you know, talk shit and whatnot, and takes his lightsaber away, and then, you know, the force chokes uh, Vader too, uses uh, Vader's, you know, special move on him, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, goes so far to, like, you know, really destroy Vader, and you know, destroys his prosthetic legs and arm and whatnot, um, you know, Vader just kind of takes it, doesn't really say much, he, you know, does try to fight back a little, but, you know, not as much as he's really, probably fully able to, but, you know, I, uh, you know, just really like that, and, you know, um, yeah, and just really, you know, Seeing more of the build up to the Vader we see in Return of the Jedi, you know. I assume, you know, Palpatine's really doing this torturing, you know, because he probably sense on uh, Vader becoming more soft, I guess. But, um, you know, just, you know, kind of see Vader be more soft. And I just really, uh, really enjoyed that. But, um, then, uh, Palpatine drops, uh, Vader off at the spot, you know, Obi-Wan defeated, you know, Vader and on Mustafar, and, you know, Palpatine says to him, that's, you know, they found him here and rebuilt him, but now, this time, you know, he must rebuild himself with, you know, his own strength and not the Force, and if he does use the Force, there will be consequences, um, and, you know, Palpatine drops his lightsaber on uh, Vayner's lightsaber on the floor, or the ground, um, and walks away, you know, we see some Red Vision flashbacks, you know, see Obi-Wan walking away after defeating Anakin, and when Vader defeated Obi-Wan on the Death Star, and whatnot, and you know, Vader then reaches for his lightsaber, um, but then, you know, we see Palpatine, and... <laughs> And uh, Masamade, you know, talking on their ship, and you know, Palpatine tells Amade that you know what his plan is, and you know, reteach Vader, you know, about you know, you know, like the you know, fear, anger, pain, and you know, something like that. Um, and you know, obviously by what he did, and I guess somehow through a 
Ochi of Bastoon, the uh, Sith, Sith Assassin, who was uh, first introduced in the Rise of Skywalker. And, yeah, that's where the issue ends off. So yeah, um, like I said, thought this issue was great. Really liked it. Um, excited to see where you know it goes next with how Vayner, you know, rebuilds himself, and deals with Ochi and whatnot, and. I th- Soon there'll be uh, some more connections to the Rise of Skywalker too. Um, yeah, definitely interesting. Um, but yeah, you know, just really like how the series is you know, in the last arc really connected the original trilogy to the prequels more, and uh, this arc seemed to connect the original trilogy to the sequels uh, a bit. So. Yeah, definitely uh, excited for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's more like we talked about earlier, just the build up to the character I you know, we see in Return of the Jedi, you know, of you know, Vader's character. Yeah. I definitely uh, enjoyed how that was shown in this issue. Yeah, you know, I just really liked the issue and mostly Basically, all just Palpatine torturing Vader. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a great issue. Uh, so yeah, uh, my grade, I'll give it an A. Plus. I really liked it. So yeah, um, the next issue comes out uh, November 11th. So I'll probably be doing a review of that around then. So you can check that out then. But for now, um, I've been Star Wars of Vino. Catch you guys in the next one.